solution for anyone that is wanting to put 62T factory B manifold onto a 61 top end for a super jet, wave blaster. I found the solution for the play from the 10 millimeter to an 8 millimeter. It's a pretty cheap fix. I know a lot of people say time search and all that, but I went around all these hardware stores and I could not find any time search. So. Unless you just want to order some offline, that's fine. But my solution that I found that works perfect is you get the thread inserts from AutoZone. I don't know if you can see that right there. But that is what I end up buying. So what it looks like is this right here. There's this little, whoop. <laughs> that little piece right there, it's got like a little focus. There's a little knit right there where you can cut it right there. And then you just thread it right on top of your eight mil bolt. And once you thread it on there, you will have this set up, as you can see. It pretty much gets almost every bit of the play. So there it is. And I mean, I'm barely moving this. I don't know if you can even see how much play it has now. Very little. Probably the exact same amount as putting a 10 millimeter bolt. But I don't have a 10 millimeter, so I can't show you that. But that is the fix for putting the factory B pipe 62T on a 61X head. That'll fix it and make sure all your ports line up perfect. So I hope that helps and we're gonna carry on with getting this motor set up to put in the super jet. Still waiting on reed valves. Once I get the reed valves, I should have just about everything. And we're about to slap this in there. I do have to buy some more jets. I got I need some bigger jets for this setup inside my wave blaster. But yeah, I hope that helped. I hope that fixes uh, y'all's issue, or maybe it's a quicker, cheaper. So pretty much it cost me $6.99 plus tax. So that's all it cost. Throw them on there, you're good to go.